just like with Google search, the the addition of language models, large language models, you basically don't have to remember nearly as much. J just like with Stack Overflow for programming, now that these language models can generate code right there, I mean, I find that I write like maybe 80%. 90% of the code I write is, is uh, now generated first and then edited. I mean, so you don't have to remember how to write specifics of different functions. Oh, but that's great. And it's also, it's not just the the specific coding. I mean, in the in the context of a, of a large company like this, I think before an engineer can sit down to code, they first need to figure out all of the libraries and dependencies right. that you know, tens of thousands of people have written before them. Yep. And, um, you know, one of the things that I'm excited about that we're working on is it's not just, um, you know, tools that help engineers code, it's tools that can help summarize the whole knowledge base and, and, and help people be able to navigate all the internal information. I mean, I think that that's, um, I, I, in the experiments that I've done with this stuff, I mean, that's, on the public stuff, you, you just, you know, ask, ask um, one of these models to, Know, build you a script that does anything and it basically already understands what the best libraries are to do that thing and pulls them in automatically it's i mean i think that's super powerful that was always I, I, the most annoying part of coding was that you had to spend all this time actually figuring out what the resources were that you were supposed to import before you could actually start building the thing yeah i mean there's of course the flip side of that i think for the most part is positive but the flip side is if you outsource that thinking to an ai model you might miss nuanced mistakes and bugs. They're go you're, you lose the skill to find those bugs. And those bugs might be, uh, the code looks very convincingly right, but it's yeah. actually wrong in a very subtle way. But that's, that's the trade-off that, uh, that we face as human civilization when we build more and more powerful tools. When we stand on the shoulders of taller and taller giants, we could do more, but then we forget how to do all the stuff that they did. <laughs> it's a it's a weird trade off. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think it's I think it is very valuable in your life to be able to do basic things too.